Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video and it's been almost 24 hours that I was 26.1 beta 2 is out and in this video I want to talk about the battery life and the performance and how things are going on so far. Now before talking about the battery life, I want to mention some more changes of iOS 26.1 beta 2. First of all, when you go into the settings and get into the display and brightness, now there is representation of dark mode and light mode with new wallpapers. Previously, it was showing iOS 18 wallpapers, but now that is also changed. And now there are iOS 26 wallpapers. That is also nice. Also, one big change is definitely with the alarm. Now you can slide to stop the alarm. Previously, it was a button to, you know, stop the alarm. I actually want to show you and how I can do that. Let me just, you know, set up an alarm for you. Um, maybe let's, um, maybe let's add a new alarm from here. It is 8.39, let's put 8.40 alarm and boom, good to go. It will run and I will show you that that is another change. And we just need to wait for a bit, maybe a couple of seconds and then it will start, you know, beeping out. But that is another change of that slide to stop. Also, it gives a nostalgic feel actually. Um, You know, if you remember the old iPhones where you need to, you know, slide to unlock, that gives an old nostalgic feel. I like it. But maybe I'm not happy with how they implemented it. I think they can actually improve it. Maybe in upcoming betas, they can do. Also, there is more liquid glass. People are saying now the dock has a more liquid glass. Overall, there are elements that have more liquid glass and things are looking nice. And I don't know where it is going to stop. It is not like 840 is not coming anytime soon. <laughs> we just need to wait. So... Okay, so I did a mistake. I didn't turn, uh, I didn't lock my device and it just happened not properly. So I need to lock my device and now I will be able to show you the uh, new slide to stop the alarm. And so now I'm going to wait for a couple of, I'm, now I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, over here is the new alarm UI. This is slide to stop as you can see a liquid glass look. And you know it is giving a shadow of or reflection of this yellow snows button over here looks nice i think there is a bit of a need bit to improve the whole ui but it looks really really nice so now coming back to the device and now let's talk about the battery life so get into the settings get into the battery section and over here go all the way down over here and this is the day this is the day this is the first day i used i was 46.1 Beta 2, I used 89% of my device and I got almost 8 hours of screen on time. Now for the 89%, 8 hours is a really good screen on time and it's just 24 hours. I was always take a couple of days to get better and still it is giving a really good result in terms of battery life. During this time, I use TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, some other applications as you can see. But yes. This is an improved battery life, definitely. I'm expecting even much better battery life, maybe in upcoming weeks, because it's again, first day, I was always take a couple of days to get better. So yeah, this is a really, really good battery life. I'm happy with the battery life. We'll get to the Geekbest score over here. If I get to the CPU benchmark, CPU history, this is a score that came very first time when I ran the test right after installing the update. It was 3439 on a single core and 8661 on a multi-core. This is a really good score. Both scores are higher than the average one. In this case of iPhone 16, this score is even higher than the 16 Pro, which is a really good sign. I ran the score again. I ran the test again. This time I got 3415 on a single core, 8199 on a multi-core. Now this score, again, higher than the average one, not the on a single core. Single core is lower than the average one. A multi-core is higher than the average one, but again, I'm not disappointed with the scores. I still believe they will get even better because first time the scores were good. They are definitely lower than the first beta. As you can see, first beta were having better scores. But I think, again, if we give a couple of days, you're definitely going to get better. Now, if I talk about the CPU benchmark, I like ran the CPU benchmark. I got 27829, which is higher than the average one and is also higher than the beta one, which is another good sign. I ran the score again and this time I got even better score. 28,000 plus score which is higher than the average one and higher than the beta one score so that's a nice sign so overall in terms of performance it seems it is getting better and battery life is also getting better 
So if I conclude, battery life is definitely improved. I like the battery life of 26.1 beta 2, but I feel there is a bit of, you know, still room to improve the battery life. But at the same time, I also believe that it will get better in a couple of days. And in terms of performance, I don't have any issue at all. Things are working decently fine. Well, that's all from this uh, one day review. Definitely, I will be bringing a three day review very, very soon. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.